parked and ready for export. But this shipment of sugar is only a fraction of the volumes going out to South Sudan, Kenya and Rwanda. According to the Bank of Uganda, the country's sugar export volumes dropped from 16,000 tons in July down from 27,000 tons in June. But factories find they are struggling to get hold of the supplies of sugarcane they usually need. Now the economy has opened, consumption has gone high, but the supply of sugarcane is less because people didn't plant in 2020, 2019, even 2021. Fluctuating prices, mounting expenses and even debts have also forced sugarcane farmers to abandon their farms. Moyimba Yawe is one of the few in the Busoga region in the central part of Uganda that is still in the plantations. When the prices kept changing, many farmers lost hope, especially those that had joined specifically to make money. Moyimba's persistence is paying off. Since this year, sugarcane prices have increased from $25 a ton to at least double the amount now. And in August, sugar exports increased to $20 million compared to $12 million in July. The farmers here are cutting the last bits of sugarcane. And with the rainy seasons on, they will be planting new cane, which takes about a year to harvest. And with the current price, it could give good returns to Ezekiel Kato, who has already planted new cane. He, however, wants more to be done for the farmers. Fertilizers are expensive. The pesticides, land hire, are all expensive. The prices may be fair, but our policymakers still need to look more into our issues. Despite the desired demand to increase sugar for export, there is also not enough for local consumption. That has forced prices of sugar on shop shelves to go up. Miller's claim, though, this will only be for a short time. Leon Senyange, Africa News, Nyenga, Central Uganda.